Hello again, everybody. Harry Boxer, the technical trader at thetechtrader.com. It's Wednesday, the 18th of January. These are the charts of the day. Well, the markets had a tough session after exploding and following through on uh, the uh, rally of yesterday. The market certainly turned it around and came down hard and closed at the lows for the day going away. A lot of stocks, however, acted well that I follow. And uh, let's take a look at AEHR, for example, which made a new high today. Tagging 30.79, finishing 29. Off the high, of course, up about 2%, but still a positive day and allows a day in the market. This looks like a rising flag to me. I'm looking for at least 33.34 in this next move here. BWEN exploded last week and continued today after dipping to 514. It got up to six, finished 572, up 34 cents or 6.3%. The line was fairly light for, for of late, but strong um, in recent weeks and months. Still, it looks like a rising channel. We might see six and a half. We could see seven and a quarter. CENX, this um, Century Aluminum completing an inverse head and shoulders base pattern, left shoulder, head, right shoulder, with a breakout today. I wanted to show you that one. I believe aluminum looking better. This one in particular targets a 14 and 18. CYAD exploding for two days now. It's gone from literally 70 cents to 307. Um, more than four times in two days on monster volume. Now, yesterday's volume was 65 million. Today was just 22, but still following through potentially. Um, longer term chart shows resistance up in about three and a half area, followed by five plus. EDU, one of my favorites and swings, uh, snapback after an ugly day yesterday, um, was up 290 or 8%. Once we get to 43 and a half, your targets are 49.50 and 56.7. EOLS, falling wedge, broke out a couple of weeks ago, pulled back and retested as the moving averages crossed over, an ideal buying point. And from that level, 770, it's, it started to move up. Today, it exploded 865 to 1019. I finished at 1001. You can see how strong that is. I got a target now of 11 and 13 and a half. <clears throat> FOLD, long term, massive base pattern. It goes back a couple of years. But I'm now looking for an extension to test the big gap created in February of 21, near 14, 14 and a half. We get through that. The mid um, mid channel target is around 16, and then 18 and a half. KOLD continues. Now it's overbought, but boy, does it look strong, and it's right at resistance here. However, I push through here, and you might see 50 plus. LASC popped out of a three-day consolidation. Finished at 415. That was up uh, 51 cents or 14%. Volume was 1.2 million. Not big, but it's a thinly traded stock. Next target would be a retest of the 520 range, five and a quarter that reached, was reached on October 14th. NEON, fantastic momentum. If you're breaking out of a really tight little flag right there, it went vertical from 515. Today's high 1376. That's 150, 60, 70 percent range in just a couple of weeks. So it's extended and overbought, and it's at some key resistance here. But a breakthrough here, and you might see 16 and even 1920. Fabulous momentum. NRGV broke out today with big volume of 23.8 million, up $1.25 to 35 percent. Big move and a close just below the break resistance level. Your next target, six and a half. NUZE, big, big move today. This is a very thin stock. Went from 10 to 21, finished 1880, up 873, 87% gain, three quarters of a million shares. You can see how thin it is. But if there's a follow through, you might see uh, 2324 as always tomorrow. RIC broke out of a coil. This is a tech trader swing. It popped to a new high at 656, pulled back to 618, up 32 cents or five and a half percent. But I believe it's on its way. My target's going forward are seven and a half and nine and a half. PI. Finally came out of its coil that was taking about five or six weeks to develop. But boy, has it made a nice move from a low of 103 to today's high of 137. It's gone up 34 points in a week and a half. And now maybe headed for my target, which is 142. Beyond that, 160. RCEL, a big base broken out up today with a breakaway gap. Actually broke out yesterday. Today was a follow through. I got up to resistance at 9, um, 9, 10 range and backed off. But the next targets are 9, 3 quarters and 11. Seed, exceptional day again, it continues to press higher. Volume's picking up as well. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days in a row, and nine out of the last 10 days, the stock has been up, moving from 665.70 to today's high of 1066. Finished 1040 was up 48 cents, or about 5% on a crummy day in the market. A good sign. In near resistance, we get through here. Your next target is 12, 12 and a quarter, 14 and 18. And that's it for the charts of the day at thetechtrader.com. Good night, everybody.